Okay, so now we are moving to the stream box devices like a digital media box and audio receiver and sound bar. So that's basically all the same. When we were doing TV, we would press these two buttons together and then hold and then we would start the process. But now we're going to do for stream box or digital TV box, we're going to be pressing this right here. The um, power and home button. And for the uh, sound bar and audio receiver, we're going to be pressing the volume up and volume down button. So for example, let's say you want to set up a streaming box made by Microsoft. So it's going to be this, the um, brand button right there. You can't see it. Let me zoom in. So there we go, Microsoft. So let's set up this stream box. You press and hold the power and home buttons at the same time. Press and hold. And then you press the um, this button right here. And then when the TV reacts, I mean when the streaming box reacts, you just let go. And those two blinking lights will tell you that it's set up. So let's do that again. Press and hold. This time we're going to do a Roku streaming box. So let's press and hold these two. And then let's aim at the device and press and hold the star. And when the device reacts, you let go. And it's ready. So let's um let's talk a little bit about Roku because that's the one I'm giving you an example of so I did try it and it does work let me show it to you so this is the device itself right here and this is the original remote so I haven't actually lost it but I do think it's cool to have this um, in one single remote so basically when you do program this device you use that star and once it's done Everything's going to work perfectly and this is going to power up your TV and this is going to control the volume. So let's go to the TV and let's let's do it again just for fun. Okay, so here we are in front of our TV and as you know, this is the Roku interface and um, here's the catch about this. That if you want to use the simple set, you got two ways of programming this remote. You have the simple set and you and then you have the by code programming. But if you want to do the simple set, the problem is that you do need the original remote. So here's the original remote. Presumably you don't have this. So that's going to be a problem. So if you don't have this, you're going to have to use the code. So we are we're going to talk about that later if you want to use the code. But if you want to do the simple set and you still have the original original remote, then you have to go into one of the um, one of the apps. And once you go into the app, you're gonna to have to start playing a video and then pause it. So, for example, let's um let's go over here. Let's pick something that doesn't have a copyright thing. I would think this might not have a copyright thing. Anyway, so we pause it. Once you're paused, you go to the, your um, one and all remote, and then you proceed to set it up. Set it up. So to do that, like we learned previously, you press and hold these two. Press and hold, and then you get an acknowledgement, and then you press and hold the star and you point it to the device see once it reacts once it reacts you release the star button and it's ready so as you can see now we can navigate it's kind of slow but that's not the remote's fault so now we're all set up there we go so it's very very easy to use the simple set Again, you press and hold those two buttons 
you're gonna get two flashes then you press and hold the star and then you aim it at the device and at, as soon as the device reacts by playing the movie or pausing the movie you release that button and then it's set up so that's how you set up a streaming device so let's go back to the desk okay so the next thing I want to talk about is the soundbar and audio receiver so if you want to program a soundbar or audio receiver the instructions are the same the only difference is that you have to use these two buttons over here the volume up and volume down you press and hold the volume up and volume down at the same time and you'll get an acknowledgement and then you press the brand button that you want to program for example this and then you aim it to the device when the device reacts you let go and then you get those two green flashes and that means that it's been set up so that's the simple set now if you want to do the code you want to do it by code it's the same process you press and hold those two buttons over here and then you start typing in the code you have to make that you have to use that reference like I showed you earlier and then you get that acknowledgement right there and it's set up so now it's just a matter of going to the device and testing it so let's do that again let's do a simple set press and hold those two buttons let's pretend that this is our brand button over here press and hold when the device reacts you let go and you get two green flashes that means that it's set up so now let's do it by code press and hold the volume up and volume down at the same time you get that acknowledgement and then you just type in whatever code you want to type and it's ready so now you go to the device and you try to power it up or down or try to make sure that it's actually working okay so we are reaching the end of this video and there is one last thing I want to talk about and it's Xbox so this if you look in the box right here it does claim to be able to program Xbox 360 which is what I have I have an Xbox 360 and there are three codes for the Xbox if you look over here Xbox right there there are three codes and it's this one this one and this one for Xbox so I did try all three of them over there at the Xbox 360 and it did not work so I am disappointed about that but for everything else this has been working fairly well so I'm very happy about it especially for the um, streaming devices I want to have everything in a single device and that's what I do have on this because it does have a separate power TV and power device so that's it for now do I recommend this I do recommend it for everything except the Xbox unfortunately I couldn't get the Xbox to work so if you're gonna buy this for the Xbox um, make sure you keep your receipt because it might not work now I do want to point out that I tested it only on an Xbox 360 so you probably have an Xbox one and that might be a different story but um as far as everything else I did find that this is probably the easiest um, easiest TV remote to program it's fairly easy but you still have to have those instructions I wish they would make a something even easier where you could program this without the instructions like um, but anyway um, I'm loving this the only tricky part right here was the battery compartment because when you look at it that way it's not obvious there's no arrow or anything telling you what to do you just have to press there and you do need four AAA batteries so that's it for now thank you for watching subscribe and thumbs up Here's TV.
Here's TV continued. Stream box. And last but not least, soundbar and audio receiver. Okay, so let's look at the simple set brand buttons and you may pause, you can pause if you need to. And this is for TV, so now let's go to Streambox. Now let's do soundbar.